Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Friday, May 24th, 2024. And now, here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. OpenAI, Google, and Meta have big plans for AI chatbots that can serve as personal assistants for travelers. Travel technology reporter Justin Dawes provides takeaways after reviewing the latest updates. OpenAI is releasing new voice translation capabilities in the near future that can understand nonverbal cues and recognize different voices in group conversations. Dawes notes OpenAI's voice bot could break down language barriers that could keep travelers from visiting certain destinations. OpenAI and Meta are also promoting their text visual translation capabilities, which can help travelers, for example, figure out a menu not in their native language. While Dawes notes OpenAI is the furthest along in creating a virtual personal assistant that can be a tour guide, he writes Google is the furthest along in developing trip planning tools integrated with booking options. Next, Chase Travel saw its sales grow as fast as booking holdings last year. But Chase said it faces some headwinds, reports executive editor Dennis Shaw. Chase Travel reported it grew its gross bookings 25% year-over-year in 2023, just ahead of booking holdings at 24%. Meanwhile, Expedia Group registered only 10% growth. Chase Travel executives have said they're looking to gain share from competitors such as booking holdings and Expedia that have been around for decades. Chase Travel did report at its recent annual Investor Day that macro travel headwinds were impacting its profit margins. One Chase Travel executive told investors that the company saw lower growth in spending by luxury travelers. Finally, India's largest airline, Indigo, is launching a business class product by the end of this year, reports Asia editor Pete Ndomabutia. CEO Peter Elbers said the new product is part of Indigo's plans to adapt to India's changing travel landscape, adding the carrier has seen a greater demand for premium travel. He also expressed confidence that the new offering would cater to corporate travelers' needs. Elbers indicated Indigo would unveil information about new routes in August. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skiff.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skiff Daily Newsletter at skiff.com slash daily. Hey, Skiff listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.